Welcome back. Welcome back. Back again with another video. I'm back. Back again with another video. I'm back, back with another video. Family. And today is Wednesday, and we're going back to Kalamazoo, y'all. Did I say that loud? Did I say it right? Did you tell them where we at? Oh, no. I was saying, oh. I'm talking about that. I'm talking about California. I didn't say that. We're about to go to California. That's what I meant to say. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, man. But today is back to California. I want to talk about it is okay to take your friend on a date. That's what I want to talk about. Because. Is it okay to take your friend on a date? Yeah. Okay. Well, I just want to talk what about it. What do you it. mean? I just want y'all to know. What you think? It might be a date, but it's not really a date. You know why? Because. They want to talk more about you and they want to sit down and eat and you know all that kind of stuff you know but if I was to take somebody out that's a friend and say yo let's go let's go and check out this restaurant my understanding was I'll pay you know I'll pay for the food you don't have to pay nothing okay let me ask you this so, since we talk about taking friends out on a date, is it okay to take your friend that's a guy? Do you yeah. call that a date? Or do you only call it a date when you're taking your friend that's a girl out? That would be totally different. Yes, you can take what? a guy or they can go both with us. It don't matter. We don't call it a double date. We just call it a side thing, you know? <laughs> girls get to talk to girls, guys get to talk to guys. We sit in the separate tables, you know? So girls wanna hear our conversation, you know? Guys get to talk about football and basketball. And then they come and join our table, you know? And answer those questions. So, normally, normally, I can say what I want to say, but I can't say it at the table because this is like, we're just friends, you know? We're just like, I just want to know how long it's going to last for me to face somebody. And I'll say this. this. I'll say this. In this case, no, it is not okay to take your friend on a date. Because if you if you're going on a date, then, then a date requires there to be flirting and stuff. You're not supposed to be flirting with your friend because on dates, that's what you do. Now, if y'all want to go out to eat, that's different. If it's your friend and it's a female or something like that, but I feel like it might be out of line to call it a date because look at, all right, let's look at it like this. What if you're taken? What if you already got a, what if you got a, uh, a wife yeah. like me? So what if I had a wife? What if I'm like Mariah? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I got a friend that's a girl. And I said, what if I said to Mariah, "Hey Mariah, I'm gonna take my friend such and such, some girl name on a date." She'll be like, "What?" <laughs> and I'd be like, "Yeah, we're going on a date, but it's just my friend." No, you can't do that. You can't call it a date. It don't, it don't even sound right. So you have to be like, "Hey, I have to be like, hey Mariah." Me and such and such are going out to eat. It's not a date, but we're going out to eat to discuss some future planning about something or whatever. That would sound a lot more better if it's a friend. Uh -huh. So I think that you have to call it out to eat if there's no flirt. But if, it, if it's your friend, if it's your friend and you trying to flirt, it depends. Okay, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Are you thinking about taking one of your friends out on a date because you want to flirt with them? No, 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 no. Listen, let me tell you something. If I took Mariah's friend out, it wouldn't be like that, bro. It'll be just like, we just, I'm just getting to know her, right? I'm not going to sit there and be like, hey, uh, we oh. buy you want to buy you a drink? And then she'd be like, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, no, 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 save your money. Let me, let, me, let me just buy this for you. Let me just buy this, this drink for you. 
is a step of the death. Now, let me help him out because help me, help me. Teach me, teacher, teach me. Listen, I, when I first met Mariah's friend, I wasn't nervous, you know. I gave her my YouTube channel. She said she watched some of my videos. I don't really know. I don't really know because I had a setback and, you know, and, but I didn't want to be rude and disrespectful and I don't want to be like, hey, it's okay if I'll walk you outside to your car and make sure you guys get it safe. Normally, normally I will. Normally, I just didn't want to do it because I feel like I'm not that, I mean, I'm a nice guy. I'm not that type of guy. But when it comes to, when it comes to uh, kids, and I was telling Phil, I was like, hey, when Rain was playing at church, she kind of gave me a high five. And then this, this other girl, Mariah's friend, I don't know what she, I don't know what her daughter was playing for. But she came up to me and she said, you gave Rain a high five, you gave me a high five. So I was kind of, I was kind of a little bit nervous about it, but I was like, I don't know. Shy? No, I wasn't shy. But I see me somebody to be there for them, be there for them, and to help them out because I never seen her personality. You know, she's funny, you know. She's nice. I'm not afraid to get up there and say, hey, uh, calling? would it be okay if I walked into the car? Boom, oh, whatever it's that. Nobody else is not gonna know where I'm at. You know, I come back in the church, everything was cool. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Listen, listen, you guys have been watching my videos since 2019. And I'm still the same person just to help somebody out. Of course, I'm still gonna give them my phone number, but check this out. They gotta put their phone number in their notebook. And you know why I say that? Most of you baby daddies are gonna look into her phone, they're gonna say, who you call her, who the person is. So that's why, that's why, that's why I was telling you that they baby got my phone number put in the notebook. That's why they want my aunt to find out that I gave her my number. So that's why they want her to put my number in the book to get her phone to get it. So that's why I want you guys to know you guys got to be careful because you don't know what they might do to people. They might call you up and say, hey, dude, like, you know, like, you got all that, my girl. You know, I mean, I ain't never met you before. I mean, I want to see what you are. I want to see what it's all about, you know? Well, she told me that y'all not together. No so I ain't got nothing to say to you. So what my concern is, I wouldn't take them a date. I would take them out, talk, go to the park and talk. And then after that, she'll go up by her business and I go by my business. So Ziff and his dad, you know, I don't call it a date. You know, we, we, we just call it a, we just call it friend day. Yeah, that's what we used to call it when I was there to watch it. Oh, great. Call it. Great. Day. Great. Day. Yeah. Great. But, I, you know, no, are you trying to sneak creep again? No, 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 you're trying to ease back out that friend zone. Nope, I know exactly what you're talking about. I know exactly no, what you're talking about. I'm not even saying. I'm not even staying right there in that friend zone. Okay, let me tell you. I'm not. I'm not saying like that. I'm never. I would never ask Olivia for that. Cause she know that she's not ready for her. Yeah, she know that she's not ready for her. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, I'm not trying to. I'm not gonna say, okay, okay, Kayla. You're a nice girl, but I don't think you're ready for me yet. You see what I'm saying? I got I got two jobs. You who know? needs it? You need it. Who needs time? You need time or I, she needs time. I need time and I'ma let her know. I need time, she needs time. Uh -huh. She gotta think who she wants to be with. If she's listen, if she's gonna watch my videos, listen you guys, 
I'm dropping 94, 94 Ks today, y'all. I'm dropping 94 Ks every single week. Every single week. We're doing 95, 96, 97, 98, 90 to 100. I'm getting to a 90, uh, 90 to 100, okay? I'm top of the line. Top of the line. Top of the line. Top of the line. I'm trying. Yes, to, he is. I'm trying to let you guys yes, know he is. that I'm gonna give her some time, and I'm gonna give myself I'm some time. Mm. But as a fact, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put my pressure. I'm not gonna say, "Hey, uh, are you taking?" No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna wait. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna jump into no accusing. You know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna act stupid. I'm not gonna act crazy. You know, I just gotta wait. Cause I don't want nobody else saying how you how you get your number. You see what I'm saying? That's the kind of stuff I don't like. So I don't like. If you really want my number, if you really want my phone number, just put your phone number in the phone in your notebook. Something happened. You need to talk to me about some things. What should I do? You know how to, you know how to creep. No. I'm trying to help the people out so they don't get in trouble. All right. So, it's like what's up? We're like, hey, what can I do about my, my baby daddy trying to come over and take my child away? Call for help. Call 911. Call your friend. Yeah. Call your friend. Knocking on the door hard, so I want to see my daughter. Yeah. I want to see my daughter. I want to see my daughter. Don't let him in. Why? Because he's right. gonna come back for. Hold on. What are you talking about? I'm telling the people what's going on. What? About don't let him in? Yes. Oh. Um, yeah. Don't let them in if they want to see your baby daddy. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah, baby, if baby the, daddy. If a baby daddy comes in acting crazy and acting drunk and stuff like me, no. <laughs> no. Let me ask you something. Whenever you start dating a girl, right? Who? And who? I'm just going, just hypothetically speaking, okay? What if you started dating a girl and she had a kid and her and her baby daddy was on and off. So what if she was off at this time where her baby daddy meaning what if she was single at this time? You went to the girl house and you was chilling. And then the baby daddy came over the house and he seen he seen your car outside and was like, who or heard you or seen you through the window or whatever and start knocking on the door, pounding on the door like, who is that? Who is that? Who is that? What would you do? Would you tell her open the door and meet the dude, or would you tell her no, don't open the door? No, I would say no. Sneak out the back. No, I don't see. No, I don't, I don't want to put a cuff because you know why? You said what? You know why? Because I'm gonna have my two bodyguards with me. No, I won't buy do it. Throw. No, I won't do it because I'll have my strap. Listen, y'all. Listen. Yeah, see, what? I, this is the stuff I don't like to talk about on camera, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> this is the stuff. Now, a lot of y'all people keep saying <laughs> that I'm allowed to date somebody that's got kids. I don't care, and let me just tell you why. All y'all beat dead daddy that can't do what they want to do, stop having kids. I'm telling y'all the truth. Stop having kids. Like, right? Because you're going to make it worse. Okay? If I'm dating somebody like he said, and I'm dating this girl, and this girl tells me, this act like you cleaning, don't even say nothing. Don't say we ain't dating. Don't, don't, don't say act like you cleaning. No, 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 no. Because no. they think, they think, they think, they think they, they, they right, think that's saying. what you would do yeah. if her baby daddy came to the yeah. yeah. You would act like you cleaning. Yeah, I'm act like I'm building something. I'm act like I'm building something. But let me just tell you right now. But if somebody else would have tried me, if somebody else would have tried me, they would have been in so trouble. So if, if he buffed me, he buffed me. <laughs> If he buff and he bust through the door and that's our baby daddy and, uh, and she think he crazy, you gonna hurt you gonna hurry up and act like you cleaning. <laughs> if he listen, if he put her hands on her and swing it. Oh, I'm just the maid. I'm just the maid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If he put her hands on her, then yeah, I got the right to defend myself. Yeah, I gotta pull out the, the, the strap. 
Yeah, I got to pull out of everything. He might be jumping. He's scared. Yeah. No, I ain't got one yet, but I will be soon. As soon as I get my, uh, see what I can get one. But, but, but for, for y'all to be like, and, 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 and for y'all to say like, if he did come over, you're she not, probably would have given me your time. She probably would have, she probably would have said, well, yeah, this is my, my new boyfriend. You got a problem with that? So, if she would have said that, uh, when she said that, she would have, he would have, uh, he would have got flipped off me. He was like, oh, oh. What's up, man? I ain't never messed with before, man. I'm sorry for acting up like this, but uh, no, uh, he ain't gonna do that. No, he no, fighting. no, he won't. No, cause he wants to fight me, but I ain't gonna let him do it. Cause you know why? Why? Cause I'm gonna have, 